Jump. This week we are all pizzas. I'm a margarita with anchovies, which is my favorite type of pizza. Joining me this week is a fungi. Nobody likes mushrooms, so I get to eat the whole thing. And I'm a fun guy. Shut up, Ian. And a treats a pizza. Because we got cool treats and hot eats. Police arrested a Polish man after he tried to evade capture by hiding inside a dishwasher. This is why we need to start exporting our PSAs more. If he'd hidden in the fridge, he'd be much safer. Maybe this is like the modern version of the wet bandits from Home Alone, where instead of flooding the entire house, he washes their dishes at the end, and then he just hops in because that's his thing. Of course he's going to hide from the police in the dishwasher. That's not their jurisdiction anymore. This is a job for the Maytag repairman. And his deputy, Mr. Clean. And their goofy sidekick, lovable Madge from the Palmer. All of commercials. Oh, more than just mild. How long was he planning to keep this ruse up? Like, if one of the owners came home and opened up the dishwasher, would he just say, give me some jets to die and hope they didn't notice? I'm not burglar. I stubborn in piece of stuck on macaroni. And apparently this is where the phrase scrub me daddy came from. Oh, more than just mild. At this point in the feed dump story arc is typically where I dispense more information, but there's not a lot more here. The guy was a burglar, he was trying to evade capture, and then he thought he'd hide in a dishwasher where the police were like, Come out of there. Um, but I will say, he was drunk, if you can believe it. I mean, to be honest, if you're using a dishwasher as a makeshift panic room, it's just one step above using your oven as a sleep aid. Yeah, and if someone comes around and turns that dishwasher on, it's probably on par. Well, I guess now that we've decided this is the darkest timeline, mustaches for all! A 24-year-old man from St. Paul, Minnesota was arrested after firing an AR-15 machine gun into a neighbor's house and claiming he was hunting zombies. See, this is just a clear case that we need a VR copy of Call of Duty Zombies. Ben, I cannot take you seriously while you're wearing that mustache. Why do you look like an old-timey prospector? Because my jokes are gold! At best, your jokes are brass, but they're more likely pyrite. Wow, Kathleen, sick prospector burn. No, seriously, most prospectors fell ill due to scurvy and died from starvation. Do we want to talk about that guy who thought he was hunting zombies and almost killed one of his neighbors? I don't know. I mean, to be fair, there's nothing in the article that says they weren't zombies. Uh, yeah, there was actually. Uh, according to this article, the bullet, which was marked as anti-zombie ammunition, uh, shattered the window of one Ken Quayle, who was sleeping at the time, and the bullet narrowly missed his head. Well, I'm just happy that he didn't accidentally shoot a miner! Kathleen, I think this story's panned out. A 54-year-old hiker from California is lucky to be alive after he interrupted two bears having sex in the Sierra Madre Mountains. <laughs> Did he try to join in? Because bears are not known for being into that sort of thing. And that's where we look into Ian's Google search history and find bear threesomes. First of all, I use DuckDuckGo, which is also not an animal threesome site. And if you search for bear threesomes on the internet, you are not going to find anything of the earth sign variety. Yeah, I know you use DuckDuckGo, Ian, because you're always leaving it logged in on the work computer, and then I go to look for something, and I'm like, why is Google broken? Oh, I'm on a website that doesn't give you any results that you ever want at any time. Why do you use that search engine? This comes from a real and irritated place. Well, we are having one or two little problems at the moment. And that that's about the reaction the bears had when this guy marched in on their bang sesh. So we don't care that this guy lived but still had a head injury and cuts to his head, neck, legs, feet, and torso? No? Okay, more bear jokes. I'm just glad he managed to walk away without getting a case of the bear clap. Or hepatitis B. And we're done here. But remember, there may be better sources of news, but they won't wish you a happy birthday five weeks after you asked me to. Sorry on Twitter, Ian, I finally remembered. And I don't have this hat, which is a delightful turkey hat, and it's perfect to go with Canadian Thanksgiving. Gobbledy go go <laughs> Feed dump! <laughs> oh no, I think some of the adhesives in my... Mustache still? Yeah, it like absolutely him. is. Oh boy, oh boy. That's not a big deal. <laughs> now it just looks like you have snot in your mustache. Hooray, forever. <laughs> Commitment!